Hey everybody, it's Joe the UCX guy. So, you have this Nortel Avaya SIP phone that maybe you purchased through Avaya or through eBay that has the SIP firmware on it, and you want to convert it back to uh, a UCX Unistem phone or a Unistem phone in general. Um, you can tell that the phone is SIP basically through the, um, let's go here through the phone information. This tells you that it is a SIP 1140E, um, the load version 040309 and 00. So this mainly means this is a SIP phone. You can tell by the firmware. The Unistim firmware is more like a shorter, um, I think it's 8 or 9 readout. It usually starts out with some letters and numbers. But let's just take a look here at how to convert it back. So. On my computer here, I went to the Avaya support page, and let's see here. I found the Unistim software release 5.5. You can just type the Unistim search or 11x search for Unistim firmware into your computer um, in the search bar on Avaya support website. Here's what I came up with. So I want to convert this 1140E phone. See how the firmware name is a lot different. We're going to, let's see here, we are going to actually click on the link, wait for it to download. All right, I am going to save the file. Okay. Let's, so as you can see, there's the file up here on top. I am going to copy it. and now go to my desktop create a new folder call it um, we'll call it 1140 e unistim up there we will paste the firmware into there and now I also have a configuration file saved here somewhere. Let's see here. Um, basically the configuration file is the way it's called the 1140 eSIP file. I created a notebook. So let's copy that. I'm going to paste it into here. and Let's click on it. Basically all it has is a firmware download mode, the version, and the file name. I leave it on forced. And uh, let's see here. For some reason, this isn't liking the way I, the way I intended. I love when you have too many windows open. For some reason, I don't know why it added this extra one in there. 0625C8Q. Let's just rename this file. Get rid of the one in there. It must be a Windows error or something that I did. Let's uh, let's copy. Let's uh, go rename. Let's copy this file name. Copy. Go back into the 1140E zip file. Copy the new name into there. and get rid of the bin name for the firmware on the version and close that save alright so now we have 1140E Unistim file oh there's one more thing we need to do let's see here one more thing we need to do oh and I already did it so I named the file 1140E SIP even though it is a Unistim file that way it um, tricks the SIP phone into believing that this is a um, SIP firmware and will then recognize the Unistim firmware. If you don't put the SIP in there, the phone does not recognize the file. So now I loaded a TFTP server called Pumpkin to my uh, desktop. So what I did was I typed in um, the desktop server um, IP address into the, let's go into the device settings. 
and my provisioning server URL is the provisioning server of my desktop. So what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, actually choose through options. You can choose the file. So let's find the file I created. It's on my desktop. It's a little hard here. I have a ton of Nortel uh, downloads. What do we call this one? 1140E Unistim. Okay. So we're going to go OK. Make sure the server is running over here in the little check mark box. And now let's reboot the phone. So key to rebooting the phone is actually a neat little function. You can press mute, up, down, up, down, up, mute, nine, goodbye. And the phone will actually reset. So let's hope this all goes to plan. Otherwise, I have to redo this video. Um, but uh, we're going to let the phone reboot. Give it a couple seconds here. Um, it's a neat little technique to actually reboot the phone without unplugging it. So once the um, firmware upgrade kind of comes into play here, you'll notice what happens with the phone. Let's just be patient here. The Avaya name popping up. And now when the phone reboots, Okay, boy, let's let's move it here, Avaya. Avaya and Nortel. Love seeing those two names together. Waiting con for configuration data. As soon as the DHCP server kicks in, it's going to set the phone to look for updates. Starting DHCP, attempting download. See, it it found this the Unistim files right there through my TFTP server, which is now loading those files to the phone. Again, the TFTP server is called Pumpkin. It's a really easy one to use. So you can kind of see what happens here with the phone as it reads the Unistim files. Firmware writes to the phone. And I believe it's going to reboot here. So let's just let it do its magic. Firmware writing. This is the version. As you notice, the IP, or actually not the IP, but the firmware name is a lot shorter. It's numbers and letters, as opposed to the SIP firmware, which is longer with um, some periods in it. It's amazing, a little tiny file, and how long it takes to up upload. But I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, I got an Avaya. SIP phone, uh, Nortel 1100, 1200, how in the heck do I convert that back to Unistim? So hopefully this video will help uh, prove how much easier that is to do. It's somewhat of like a, maybe a 10 or 15 minute process here. So let's just let it write. We're getting closer, I feel. The little blue light is uh, flashing. There we go, firmware is finished. Now the phone will reset. So let's give it a little second to reset here. And then we're going to actually go in and change the IP address on the phone to meet up with the UCX so that way I can get the phone to be recognized on the UCX server. So let's get ready here. You got to do it right when the Avaya, um, right when the Avaya name pops up on the screen. You'll hear the little sound. Avaya, we love you. Uh, that little tone. So now we can enter color set. OK. Now we're going to change the IP address. Let's go down here to 200. OK. Apply. Now I'm going to make you guys wait through another reboot. But while we're doing that, let's go ahead and uh, on the um, UCX, let's let's change that extension 42844. Let's um, delete it. Apply configuration. 
Now let's create a new generic Nortello device, which would be a standard Unistim device. So now we're going to call 42844, 42844, call waiting, I always like that. Um, so now we're, we're ready to go. So let's, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to have to wait for this device to actually load up so it was recognized here and we can choose the um, MAC address. So let's go back over to the phone here. While I'm at it, I'm going to turn the um, Pumpkin TFTP server off so it doesn't try to reboot that again. So we're going to wait here for the configuration data. It's telling me, great, I have the new um, Unistim firmware. The latest version from Avaya. It's going to say the system provision reading that doesn't matter that it doesn't. That's a file mainly used on the CS1000. We don't have to worry about that. And we also don't have to worry about the next one, um, the TFTP, because we've already done our uploading. Real exciting stuff, I know. Here we are waiting for a lot of things, but I know all of you who really want to switch these phones over from SIP to um, Unistem. There we go. We're awesome. We are in business. So let's go over here. So now we can select this. We'll find the phone when we select um, the MAC address. Here we are. We, I just found the phone. So we're going to hit submit, apply configuration, and watch the magic that happens here. We now have a UCX phone. Uh, with a Unistem. Let's give it a call. Pretty cool, guys. That's a long process, but not too long. Um, it's pretty convenient, and I know a lot of you will be happy that you can convert your SIP phones so easily back to Unistem phones. Thank you.